Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Katie, I'm a designer and illustrator living in the south of England and I create new videos every week based around creativity, whether that's journaling, painting or scrapbooking. So this week I'm doing some speed paints. I put on my Instagram the other day um, asking for content ideas. So I often like default to landscapes or florals. So I just wanted to see if you had any suggestions and I did have a few comments. I really like the idea of doing a self-portrait, um, so I'll be doing that soon, but it's a little bit daunting and I didn't want to tackle that straight away. So instead I've gone with Emma's suggestion and Emma has a YouTube channel here as well. So if you like junk journals and journaling content, then I definitely recommend checking out her channel. I'll pop it in the description below. But Emma suggested that I do some sunsets. So to try and practice a bit more, I've decided to do three. So I've popped them all on fast forward in this video, but hopefully you'll be able to see the technique. They all use gouache paints. I'll also pop the reference photo on the screen when I start the painting, and I'll put the links down below in the description box. But these are all copyright free photos from pexels.com, which is usually where I take my reference photos from. Because I knew I wanted to do three, I tried to pick three that were very different in colour. This first one is very orange and pink based, the second is yellowy, orangey and blue, and then the third one is very pink and purple. What I did for each of these was to really wet the watercolour paper, so I just did a wash with water and that meant I could really blend the sky nicely with the different colours that I was using. And then once I'd done the first layer of the background, I went over it again with slightly more saturated gouache. One of the things I found hardest when I was doing all three of the paintings was trying to make them really nice and bright and saturated. Now usually gouache would be perfect for that, but I think I was just in a... I think I watered them down a bit too much and they felt very translucent. So I couldn't quite build up the layers and I think that's why I struggle so much with watercolour when I use watercolour in general. You have to really build up the layers with watercolour. I think this first one is probably my favourite, um, but after I finished it I didn't really love it. And to be honest I didn't love all of them, but I think they work really nicely as a trio. I think I was just frustrated that they weren't like super vibrant or saturated like I imagined them in my head. So definitely something that I can still keep practicing and I think it would be interesting to try in acrylics as well because I can't water those down so I definitely have to do a lot more blending and I rely less on the water which is obviously why it's not as opaque. So I'm just going to leave the video running now and pop some music on and I'll check in with you at the end.
So that's the final painting, and this is how they all look together. I'd love to hear which one is your favourite, so please do pop it down in the comments, and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you next Sunday for another creative video, and I hope you have a lovely week. See you later.